This Brussels sprout is supposed to be three feet tall. I let one radish plant go to seed and I got all of these pods. I sprinkled them all right back into the garden bed and they all came up. This was this past winter. And I realized that those spicy roots made the slugs go away. So now I've made a habit of growing radish in the garden. But the reason that radish went to seed was because when it came time to pull them up, there were no bulbs, just roots. And the same thing happened with my beets. All tops, no beet. It took me two rounds <laughs> to sort out what was going on. And what I finally figured out was I was overdoing it big time with nitrogen. I've written this script over and over trying to capture the message I want to share with the world, but it always feels so flat on paper. Let me share a little backstory. My grandparents on both sides were big gardeners. When they talked about my papa, one of the things they would say was that he could put a stick in the ground and it would grow. Both sides fed big families by growing their own gardens. I spent my entire childhood playing in their garden dirt. So when I watch the playback and see myself making my own garden, it puts me back there and it gives them back to me for a little bit. The problem with that is I want to do it all the time. The garden will talk to you. And mine said, whoa. <laughs> I got really good at it. I started using goldfish water as my manure and nitrogen source. And I learned how to make super nitrogen by aging my own urine for a few days. Add some fish hydroxylate on top of that. And my nitrogen game was on point. When I started using the fish water and urine combined with worm castings, I saw explosive growth in the garden. So I was very excited because when I say explosive growth, I mean explosive growth. This Brussels sprout is supposed to be three feet tall. Still though, Aged urine is a super source of nitrogen. It alone, frankly, is enough. But I don't need two and a half gallons of it. I don't need to use a cup at a time. It's a teaspoon. I love that I have the fish water on hand, but that doesn't mean I need to pour it into my garden every single time I clean the tank. Five gallons of fish hydrosolate. I drove all the way to the coast to get that fish. I want to use it. The fish hydrosolate that I just made, it's a good thing that it lasts because this will probably last me the rest of my life. <laughs> and the urine, I don't need two and a half gallons of urine sitting around. Since the dilution is a thousand to one, too much of a good thing is not one. I'm two grow seasons into this garden now, and I'm still not getting beets or radish. And my cucumbers are pitiful. I got four times as many cucumbers this season as I got last season, but they're still struggling. Brussels sprouts love nitrogen. Butternut like nitrogen. Tomatoes like nitrogen. Lots of plants like nitrogen. Not so much cucumbers. <laughs> the good thing is the fix for heavy nitrogen is browns. I've been building my compost piles and worm bedding using sand, silt, and clay from around the property. And a layer of compost, a layer of leaves. If you've watched my videos, you already know that this next layer is going to be grass. And you layer finished compost, leaves, and grass. And that explains why, even though there's still too much nitrogen in the bed, I'm now getting fruit. And when you see me standing over there in the garden holding a huge bunch of radish in one hand and a huge bunch of beets in the other, you will know that I've found it. Balance. Thanks for watching. You know, I was really hoping for a hummingbird. Hey, hummingbird.
There's two of them. They fight all day. Let's send them a come and get it, Bob. Please. 